Hello and thank you for checking out my Raspberry PKR channel. I'm Martin Parker and in this video I'm going to create two big buttons for my 5 inch HDMI touchscreen uh, which is controlling my Raspberry Pi um, project that will do the heating and the security of my house. Um, these buttons will in the programming will go to the main screen for the heating or for the security um, so let's get cracking so I'm going to click on file and new I want a 350 wide and 350 pixels height and I want to make sure I've got a transparent background <coughs> so that's going to be the size and what I'm going to do I want it to be a red background set that in position and I want to create my rectangle <coughs> um, well, that's going to be square uh, I want rounded corners 50s a fair amount I might change them slightly so that's first things first um, down here you've got your X and Y for your mouse positions um, and you could spend time making sure that you've got exact position um, you can do it that way or you can just sling a box in there and then sort out your start top left hand corner X position so I want 5 and I want 5 for my down and I, as this is a 350 width and height I want to compensate for them two um, fives that are going to be around as a border so I want that to be 340 and that one to be 340 so there we've got our rounded button now I'm going to just increase this so it's just got a bit more of a rounded edge to it it's got a bit more yeah I'm happy with that nice rounded edge right next I'm going to click on fill bucket bucket fill however you want to call it uh, I've got my colour set already click there and there's my background for my button and next I'm going to click on select and none to get rid of the little marching ants the selection next I'm going to create a new layer uh, keeping it with the transparency it's going to have the same width and height and in here I'm going to set my gradient and I want to change the color I want this to be for black because uh, I want it to get darker the nearer it goes to the edge just so that it stands out more on the screen so leave that there for now I'm going to click in the roughly middle doesn't matter if I don't get it bang on I could work it out so it would be 175 um, but I'll just click anywhere and drag out to one side okay now if I click this one here it changes that point click this point change it to the start point and um, because it's in the in the reverse order so if I click this one and let's get this bang in the middle <clears throat> click enter and that should just jump Boing. and looking at these outer edges they're all going to be the same I don't need that now I don't want to have it too dark I want to be able to actually see the actual the redness shape uh, if I bring it in you see how it's ruining it so that's why I want to have it and it's good to have that black area there to give me an idea so there it looks looks all right just a slight tweak go over there happy with that are you happy I am right I'm just going to click on the grab tool just so it comes off of that I'm happy with that Next I'm going to click on the text and I want to have a coloured text so 
what will stand out pretty good on um, a red background. Could have blue, green, yeah. yellow will stand out pretty well. So we'll get a nice bright yellow. Select up here. That's nice and bright. Click OK. That's our text color. Um, text size is about the size that I want to have it. And I'm just going to click just about middle area and then just drag a box into the rough size. I've got it centered for uh, justify for the center for the text. So I'm just going to hide right in heating in capitals so it's easy for people to read. Um, looking at that, it wants to go slightly to the left. Just eyeballing it here. Um, maybe a smidgen more. Um, in height wise, I'm just going to position my mouse roughly about the middle of the text and look down into the X and Y position down here. I could see that it was a little bit too low, so I'm just going to raise the text up a little bit back in the middle. It's roughly there. I'm not bothered about it being bang on. I'm happy with that. Awesome. Now I want to get rid of this black area here on this part, on this layer, because uh, I wanted it to be transparent. Even though I am having a black background, uh, I want to have it transparent. So I'm going to right click on the background, which was the shape um, that we had. And if I scroll down, alpha to selection, that creates that shape. <coughs> Excuse me. And if I click on invert, it will then flip rather than selecting this inner side, it'll be the outer side. So I'll click select, invert, and now it's got that outer edge. I need to click on the layer that I need to get rid of that black area. So if I click delete on the keyboard, that's now disappeared. Happy with that. Click select, none, job's done. So what I want to do is, because I've got that brightness in the middle and the shading going out uh, around the edges, I, I want to incorporate that into my text. So this is already highlighted. If I just keep it down there, I just click on here, it will move this layer up. And now it's got that little bit of shading to the brightness in the middle of the text, just to make it stand out a little bit better. So that's my heating button completed. So I'm just going to click on File, Export As, <coughs> um, select my desktop because that's where I've got my other script um, running, well, in place. And this is the heating um, underscore button. Okay, so heating button. Click enter and then click on Xbox once I have them settings. And that's now created. Um, and I want to have another one which says security. So I'm going to click on the text layer and click on the, oh, sorry, alt text and click in the box of the text. Delete all that and type in security. And looking at it, the height wise, it should be same. Uh, the width is pretty good, happy with that. Jobs good and awesome. Click on a different layer, see it without any boxes. Cool. Click on file, export as. Um, change that to security button. Uh, one on desktop, good. Click export. Keep them settings, export, and that button is now being created. Awesome. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep this as a like a 
like a project. So I'm going to delete the security text layer. So I'll highlight that, delete that. So I've got that as now as a, a like a default button. So I'm going to click on file and I'm going to save project. So it'll keep the layers. So save as. I'm going to put it onto my desktop to keep it in the same place. I'm going to say uh, heating. No, heat underscore security uh, sec um, underscore button. So that's going to be as a default. So I'm going to click save. So I'll keep that on my desktop. So I can close that. Close that. And there's the buttons. And there's the uh, project file. <clears throat> so I'm going to open up my Python IDLE and open up a script that I was playing around with just to get the buttons in place um, because I've changed the description I need to just add in the underscore and the button for these <coughs> uh, <coughs> so what this script is doing I'll just bring it full screen is I'm importing to Kinta as TK and creating a widget window uh, of that size because that is the size of my screen so I don't push the boundary of the the window any bigger uh, it has a black background that's just there just for a spacing and to sort these out um, it's Basically, when you click these buttons, it's going to trigger these functions and it will just print in the shell window. Uh, so let's run that. Now, I did move something because I tried different button sizes. So I'm just going to close that and change these back to the figures that I had previously because I did try different button sizes. Uh, 15. Uh, 15. And that should be right. Yeah, it looks about even gap, top and bottom, in between, sorted. Now if I, so this on my screen looks bigger than 800 pixels, um, but this will work on that screen perfectly. Um, it's just the way that the the Raspberry Ras, Raspbian is set up, um, so I can see things better. Um, so if I click on the heating button, it would then go to the layout for the heating. If I click on the security, it would then go to the security layout. Okay, so that's just a creating these buttons for my project thank you for watching uh, if you want to subscribe share and tell it to you i'm not going to push it on to you uh, thank you for watching and see you again bye